Hey guys, what is up? RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be testing out all the different coins I can on this RTX 3060 Ti white mining rig. You guys probably just saw me build it and hopefully you like that little montage in the beginning. I was supposed to do that in the build video, but that video turned out to be too long. So decided to do it in this one. But anyways, gonna try out, you know, different coins uh, like Flux and Ethereum, Ravencoin. Actually, Ethereum I already have up right here, as you guys can see. So we are getting about 44, 45 mega hash using T-Rex Miner. These are my overclocks here and the power consumption according to the software says 800, but at the wall, and I did turn off my whole mining cave tower, you guys just saw, just so that we can see the exact power consumption at the wall. So. Funny thing I've been noticing with these, you know, 3060 Ti's, the power consumption has been fluctuating a lot. I don't know if you guys have noticed that as well, but maybe it's T-Rex Miner. I haven't tried other, you know, miners like NV Miner or LOL Miner if the, you know, the disparity in wattage or power consumption, you know, fluctuates all the time, but that's something I've noticed and uh, I don't know if you guys have as well, so let me know. Just specifically on Ethereum, right, as these 3060 Ti LHR cards are just hindered on mining Ethereum anyway. So I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and do another coin. And before I begin, this video is sponsored by Octominer. Thank you to Octominer. You guys know I have a lot of Octominer cases and recently I've been transitioning into server cases. I won't be doing that for everything, but I am gonna do that for for most of my mining rigs as I want to maintain the heat. So if you guys are interested in looking at server cases or anything like that, check out octominer.com. I have a link down below. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna get this rig to mine Flux. I think that's a next promising coin that seems like a lot of people are into. I mean, I'm into it as well. You guys know I have a solo mining 1070 rig and it found a block by the way. I don't know if some of you have been keeping up with me. I will have another video talking about that and hopefully it'll find more blocks by the time I make that video. Anyways, let me change the rig to flux. Okay, it's mining flux now and we are getting about 41 to 42 souls per second and these are the power consumptions. I'm getting roughly about 119, 114, 126. It's varying a little bit, but in the software it shows 704 watts. So at the wall, we are at 892, 94, 93. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And the power consumption, it looks like it's a lot stable as flux isn't, you know, LHR'd at all. So that's really good, 192 watts. Another thing to take note of, there is gonna be about, I think, 10 watts per fan, and these are the GPRisers.com fans, which uh, are pretty nice. They output a decent amount of air, actually. But yeah, the reason why I have these fans is because of the white mining frame, white rig, tr trying to make everything white, right? So equate another, I'm gonna say, 60 to 80 watts for these fans. And you know what? A funny thing I could try is I could unplug it. So let me do that. Let me just try it right here. Okay, I just unplugged the fans and let's go to at the wall and i was wrong not 60 to 80 watts it's actually more like 35 watts just for the fans okay i thought it would be more all right so i was wrong there you guys go so 866 watts for mining flux on these 63060 ti's and yeah there we go yeah, and these are the overclocks I'm using. I'm using the exact same overclocks as Ethereum. I probably could do some different ones here, like maybe do like PL. I don't, I'm not using any PL because we're using absolute core clock, right, of 1350. So I could do like maybe 100 core and maybe 125 watts PL. You know what, Let, let's try that. Let's give that a try. Okay, I changed everything from 100 core to 2000 memory and 120 PL. So we're not using absolute core clock anymore. You can see we're getting about 42 to 45 souls. I guess Silicon Lottery, actually one GPU is getting 40 souls, which is not that great. So I did try 125 PL and it went up like a little bit in terms of souls hash rate. And then I tried 110 and then 110 dropped the hash rate down like another four or five souls. So that was pretty drastic from 110 PL to 120. And I just wanted to mention like, 
the efficiency here on these 3060s versus like maybe 1070s. You guys know my GTX 1070s. I can get about 38 souls at about 135 watts. So I don't know. To be honest, the efficiency here from 10 series cards to these 3060 Ti's, it is a little bit more efficient. Don't get me wrong. But if you can compare the cost, you know, from these GPUs from like 1070s, depending on what price you can get them at, then, you know, it can be a nice solution, but only if you're going to be mining Flux or any of those Equihash coins on the 10 series card. So anyway, the power consumption did go up about 60 or 80, 70 watts or so because we changed it to PL. We're not using absolute core clock. All right. So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and uh, change this rig on now to Ravencoin. And I'm excited to see what these cards can do on the Kapow algorithm. All right. So let me change that now. Okay, we're using a lot more power now, <laughs> 1,125 watts, because the Ravencoin algorithm, it's, yeah, it's very power hungry, and in order to get these hash rates, you guys can see, getting about 26 to 27 to 28, so, yeah, definitely some silicon lottery stuff here, because I did also try to add some more power, and uh, on this fifth GPU, it was getting like 24, 25 mega hash at uh, 55, 155 PL. And so a little bit more, you know, raise the hash rate up another two or so. So yeah, adding more power, you know, depending on what cards you have, especially with these 3060 Ti's, they're a little bit, I feel like a little bit hindered, I feel, on Ravencoin or something. But anyways, yeah, this is the numbers that I'm getting on Ravencoin with these cards. I feel like with the 3060 Ti non-LHR, I was able to get 30 mega hash before, but at like, uh, let's say 143 watts. So, I mean, we're not too far off, but it looks like we are using a bit more power here and the GPUs are getting a little bit hotter. But then again, I don't even have the eight fans plugged in for power because uh, we were trying to figure out the, I guess the 35 watts there that it was using or 30 watts. So anyways, guys, that's the Ravencoin hash rate. Let me know what you think about that. So now I am going to change this rig to mine Ergo. Ergo is going to be next. And then I want to show you guys here. Actually, I'll just show you right now the what to mine. So as of right now, as of recording, it is January 12th. And according to what to mine, six 3060 Ti Ls or LHRs, according to this, Conceal is number one in terms of profitability, which is, wow, that means Conceal price must have went up or something. So I'm going to try Conceal after we try Ergo, and I don't even see Ergo on the, pro ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. Aeon is there. So Ergo, yeah, we're going to try that right now, guys. Let's go see what the hash rates we can achieve on that. Okay, we are mining Ergo, and the whole rig is taking about 105, 106 watts at the wall. And these are my hash rate and overclock settings over here. So the whole rig is roughly almost getting about 800 mega hash on the Auto Lycos algorithm. And so I tried a few settings here. I tried PL, like 150. 140, 130, and the hash rate was staying the same around 132. And then I tried absolute core clock, and it has locked the hash rate at about 132.5 for all of the GPUs. So actually, if I just do a refresh here, just to make sure you guys think I'm not lying here. There you go. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's 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 the same here, and the power consumption is really good according to the software, 646 watts. But you guys saw at the wall. We are at 800 and, uh, 804, 805 watts. Okay, so that is what I can achieve on Ergo for these cards. I think that's okay. I'm trying to remember what is, you know, comparable. But I think on NVIDIA cards, Ergo is, is really good as an algorithm to mine on the 3060 Ti's or even any 30 series card. So, okay, guys, I'm going to try another coin, and I want to try one that was showing up on what to mine here. So, uh, let me let me just hit calculate. Actually, let's make sure I have 63060 Ti's. Uh, let's see, L's selected, and I do. Okay, so I'm going to hit calculate, and let's see. So, we've got conceal and flux. And Rio, Rio. So I want to try conceal now. See what we can get on this rig. 
Okay, we are mining Conceal. So the whole rig is getting about 900 watts almost. And in the software, we are getting about 2.1 kilohash per second or 2135 hashes roughly on all of the 3060 Ti's except for the first one. And we're using the same absolute core clock here, the power consumption in the software, you guys can see it is ranging and then the whole rig says 665 watts. But at the wall, it shows that we're using nine, almost 900. So I find that to be strange. I wonder like what other power is being utilized, like another 235 watts from this white mining rig. I don't have the eight fans plugged in, so is this like RGB CPU cooler taking most of the power? I don't think so. Is the RAM? No, I don't, I don't know. This is, it's because I'm using two 850 watt power supplies that maybe I'm getting a little bit of inefficient numbers because I'm not at the, I guess, depending on what the efficiency percentage is on these 850 watt power supplies, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's 50%, maybe it's 60, 70%. I think I'm using less than 50% on each of these 850 watts now. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the total at the wall, right? If it's about 900, then each power supply could be taking, I don't know, 450 watts, more or less 50% on the 850 watt power supplies. So interesting, interesting. Anyways, guys, so that's the conceal hash rate on this rig. Now I want to try, let's do another hash rate here. Let's try Conflux. All right, so we're using absolute core clock and I did test using PL, all right, and I did 100 core, 2000 memory, and like 135 PL, up to about 150. When I did that, the hash rate, you can see here with absolute core, I'm getting about 54 mega hash across the board. But when I did PL, like 100, like, like 120 PL, the hash rate dropped to 30 mega hash on Conflux. And then when I did 140, the hash rate jumped up to about 40 mega hash and so on and so forth. So as I was raising the power limit, the hash rate was going higher. But looking at absolute core clock numbers here, I think this is, I mean, this is, it seems like it's inefficient, but it's maxing out in terms of the hash rate from what I found. So 976 watts in the software, but at the wall, it's kind of scary. So 1,100 and 80 watts at the wall for the whole 3060 Ti rig mining Conflux. Now, I did input the numbers into what to mine, and so with these higher numbers, it's you know still technically not as profitable as the other coins that we saw, like Conceal, Ethereum, uh, Raven Coin, uh, you know those coins. So I mean, th this is still cool. I wanted to see what the numbers that we could get on Conflux, and I also did put these numbers in the hash rate sheet, which I will have down below for these Zotac 3060 Ti's, which uh, you guys know, some of them were silicon lottery. We did have some hash rate disparity on some of the algorithms, depending on what the, I guess, the overclocks that I use. So interesting, interesting. Oh, these are getting really hot. You can tell that actually the temperature on this one's getting pretty toasty. I don't know which one that is, but yeah, Conflux seems to be putting out a decent amount of heat off these LHR 3060 Ti's. Okay, so I think that's it. Is there another coin that we need to try? I, I I can't think of anything on the top of my head right now, but guys, I think that's it. I think I've tested a lot of the popular coins for the 3060 Ti's, and if there's something else you guys want me to try, I, I could do another video of just obscure hash rates that this rig can mine. And I'm gonna end off with this video is, you guys are probably wondering, Red Panda, which coin are you gonna mine? on this white 3060 Ti rig. And I'm gonna keep that a secret. And I'm gonna update you guys a month later and show you how much of whatever coin that I've mined for a whole month. And yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys know later on. I, I don't wanna give it away right now cause I don't wanna, uh, you know, if I'm maybe solo mining or something, I don't wanna, you know, ruin my chances. You, you guys know what I mean. Every time I do a video on that, it seems like a lot of hash rate moves over. So I'm gonna, not say it this time, and I will update you guys within a month, and I'm gonna move this rig off my table here to replace this rig right here where my editing room PC is. So I'm gonna, th this is a 2070 Super, I believe, a Zotac 2070 Super, and this is a RTX 2080 Super. So I'm gonna do a build, you guys will see later on, of all 20 series cards. I do have like a 2070, 2070 Super, 
uh, 2060. I'm trying to look for a 2060 and then a RTX 2080 Ti. And then maybe a, a, a 12 gig RTX 2060 as well. So I, then I think I'll have all the different 20 series cards. So that'll be another video that I want to do hash rates on. Okay guys, that's it. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this white rig and the hash rates that I just did. Hopefully that might help some of you just gauge, you know, what type of numbers we can get on these 3060 Ti's, which are LHR. These are actually my first LHR cards I've ever played with. Like I, I've had other LHR, like 3080, uh, 3070, but I have not played with a 3060 Ti LHR. I have plenty of non LHR 3060s back like 10 months, 12 months ago. And so here we are, I guess when LHR came out like six months ago, and I guess a lot of people have been buying these you know, for mining. You know what, let me plug these fans back in. Okay, there we go, in all of its glory. Looks beautiful now, with the LED fans. Okay, my friends, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one, and peace out.